is Springles, and this is Ova Magica, a cozy farming simulator slash creature collector hybrid whose demo recently came out on Steam. The link is in the description and will be available until June 17th. I just wanted to make a video on my first thoughts and impressions of the game. I do want to reiterate that this is a demo and a lot can change. I mean, some of the gripes I have with the demo are things that will be in the full game. And additionally, although there are things I don't like so far, that doesn't mean I dislike the game. Far from it. I actually backed this game on the 2021 Kickstarter, and I am still so excited for the full release. I would definitely recommend this to people who are fans of Pokemon, Harvest Moon, or similar cozy games. I will break down the negatives first and get those out of the way, before talking about the positives, especially compared to other farming simulators I've played. And finally, I do want to share a few tips for the demo as someone who's played a lot so far. In the demo, you can't remap your keybinds, and as a keyboard and mouse player, scrolling for my inventory seemed... inverted? I found it a bit easier to just use the number keys to go through my inventory. Nothing seems to happen on your birthday, as the villagers don't even acknowledge your special day. However, in the full release, it seems we will be getting a special blob. Also, the villagers don't seem to have birthdays either. I wish there were more color options in the character creator, especially concerning skin color. Gifting currently isn't in the demo, but is a planned feature for full release. Although the Adventurers Club is interesting, I wouldn't suggest buying the 1000 coin membership fee, as expeditions aren't available in the demo. When having the fishing rod or bug net equipped, the UI to fish or catch is constantly on screen, even when you aren't near a body of water or a bug. Some of the sound effects are a little... For some reason I've worded this as Mr. Beast Core, but either way, they're a little distracting at points, mainly in cutscenes. I wish moving the camera in build mode was a lot easier on your farm. It feels like I have to drag the camera quite a fair amount to get to the other side of my farm. Additionally, the camera view in buildings is a little confusing to travel around, due to the camera locked in one angle. I kinda wish building farm facilities like the Blob Barn was harder. Not resource-wise, but it feels like something that Cowroy provides after a day of building and not something that is built instantaneously. Also, how did Jade get in there? And that's pretty much everything I noticed negatively in the demo. Now, onto the positives. The music? Fantastic. I wish I could hear more of it during the night, but I understand it's pretty standard in farming simulators to not have music during the night segments. There are too many good characters to choose from. If you've played Over Magicka's demo or are planning on getting the full release, who are you looking to pursue? I'm stuck between Lazuli or Opal. The egg festival was fun. I'm curious for those who played the demo, how many eggs did you collect in the egg hunt? I ended up with around 50, but I know I could have gotten more. However... The way the game warns you of low stamina is amazing. I always found it irritating in farming simulators that would warn you of your stamina way before it gets to dangerous levels. And the animations would take so long. In Ova Magica, they're pretty quick animations and only seem to trigger when you have around 10 stamina left, which is the perfect amount in my opinion. The battle mechanics were both intuitive and simple enough for me to pick them up quickly. I love how farming is useful outside of making a profit, using crops to regain stamina, heal your blobs, or cook gives me more incentives to farm different types of crops. And this should go without saying, but the blobs are adorable. I am very excited to see how many blobs are in the final game, as excluding the brood blob, the blobs that I encountered in the demo were the feather blob, the horn blob, and the leaf blob, which are the free starters, the snowman blob from the mail for playing the demo, the hen blob, the cow blob, the sheep blob, and the pig blob, which you can purchase from different vendors, the bunny blob from the egg festival, and the kiwi blob, which I didn't get in my runs, but you get it from the daily health wheel. I am fairly certain that there are more ways to gather even more types of blob eggs in the demo, so once again, I'd recommend checking Ova Magica out for yourself. And now finally, some tips for the demo. Your save file will carry over to the full game, so keep this in mind. 
A lot of players seem to miss this one, especially me when I first played the demo, but you should go to the breedery as soon as you can, as you can get a free brood egg which can have a ton of possible different blobs. You should do the daily health wheel every day, as you can get a fruit or even a kiwi egg. You cannot breed blobs due to the demo only having 7 days, I tried, but as you can only get the shipping box on day 4, you get the money to buy the house upgrade on day 5, you get the upgrade and barn on day 6, and when you can breed the blobs, you need 3 days. So on day 7, you will see an indication that you need 2 more days to hatch an egg. Gather at least 50 stone, 50 fiber, and 50 wood as soon as you can. I would even suggest doing 50 stone, 100 fiber, and 100 wood if you want to get the barn later in the week. Gather forageables. It takes no stamina to pick them up, and it's pretty much free money or regeneration. Battle particular trainers depending on what they drop. For example, Jasper gives you a soda that restores 100 stamina. Although they level up with each fight, you can still pick and choose other trainers that will give you good items. In the egg festival, after the egg hunt is over, talk to Flint first as you can buy a bunny blob egg. Then feel free to spend your leftover eggs in other vendors stores. The majority of purchasable slash easily unlockable blobs are either forest type or storm type, so I would suggest rounding out your team with the horn blob starter or buying the pig blob. The type of blob from the brood egg seems to be predetermined, but the kiwi egg from the health wheel isn't, so you can restart your day to try and save scum and obtain it as soon as you can. Please check out Ova Magica in the description. Tomorrow, during the Gorilla Collective Showcase, Ova Magica's release date will be announced, so I will definitely be watching that, as I want to know how soon I can get my hands on the game. And finally, thank you for watching! Bye bye